Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you are watching Dash Detailed. You may remember from a few episodes back, a video we published entitled, Everything You Need to Know About Dash in Under Three Minutes. In it, we reported that Dash's coin emission rate, or the rate at which new Dash are created, decreases by 7.1% per year, and that the emissions will be basically zero when 22 million Dash have been created. That's all a long way of saying that Dash's coin cap is 22 million coins. But it turns out that that figure is not correct. Not the bit about the 7.1% decrease, that's correct, but the 22 million bit. To understand that, you need to understand that there are not one, but two variables that affect Dash's coin emission rate. First is that Dash's block reward is dynamic and can change given certain parameters. More on that in a moment. Second is that Dash's monthly super block, what I call the treasury, it being the 10% of the block reward from the prior entire month to be paid out to various projects, isn't always paid out in its entirety, and any amounts that are not allocated are not created. The second variable is understandable. After all, Dash has up to 7,449 Dash in its treasury per month to allocate to various projects and contractors, and some months it doesn't get allocated to the max. But why the first variable? Why have a dynamic potentially changing block reward that seems weird and new and not really done other places. And it actually turns out to be brilliant. See, the available changing supply of mining rewards as part of Dash's block reward is designed to ensure that the network never drops below 79 giga hashes in mining per second. If Dash's hash rate dips below 79 giga hashes per second, the block reward is increased so that we can attract more and new miners to our reward. And when it goes above it, the block reward is decreased so that we are not overpaying for hashes. It's supply and demand at its finest. So now that you understand what the variables are and where they come from, where is this 18 million dash coming from as a final number? Well, it comes from making assumptions that eliminate those variables. The first assumption is that dash's hash rate remains at 79 giga hashes per second or more, and hence the block reward does not increase in a bid to attract new miners. The second assumption is that Dash's treasury amount is fully allocated, and hence all of the coins it can create are created each month. So with those two assumptions in mind, take a look at this table. Here we start with six point something million coins, which is Dash's current coin supply in 2016. This column indicates the percentage of total Dash that number represents, and this column indicates the annual inflation rate. Here's 2017, 2018, 2019, and onward, until we finally reach a total of nearly 18 million coins in the year 2300. At this point, there are zero new dash created. Though it's worth noting that the inflation rate goes to effectively zero, that is less than a thousand coins are created per year, beginning in the year 2111. So all that is to say that if Dash's X11 miners are not usurped by some unforeseen totally superior coin, and if each month's treasury is fully paid out, that there will be 18 million or less Dash in existence. And you can take that to the bank, except you are your own bank, so you can just take it to yourself. To finish up today, I have a few announcements for you. First is that beloved Dash Pay magazine has rebranded and can now be found at the-times.com. Second is that two businesses are newly accepting Dash. One is ValiantCoin.com, a silver-related cryptocurrency, and the other is CoinConstructor.com, which is a template for launching one's own cryptocurrency. Third announcement is that a longtime Dash community member, Bill Cassidy, you may know him as Buster, 
recently proposed and with the help of many members of our Slack, fully funded a bounty to hire my manservant and myself to create a new mini-series entitled Dash School. Watch for that in the coming weeks. And as a final announcement, Pete and I have been invited to attend the Atlanta Bitcoin Meetup, which is this coming Wednesday, the 24th. There, I will speak alongside Evan Duffield, and Pete will capture it all for our later internet enjoyment. If you're anywhere near the area, I would be so keen to meet you and invite you to come out. It will take place at 6.30 in the General Assembly building on the second floor at 675 Ponce de Leon Avenue. And that does it for us. See you next Wednesday. Today is a special group interview episode. In fact, it is five members of the Dash team answering questions that were submitted to us by you, Dash Detailed viewers. Without further ado, enjoy. So my name is Robert Vienko. My name is Daniel Diaz. My name is Evan Duffield. My name is Holger Schinzel. My name is Ryan Taylor. 